so before moving forward uh, before creating our storage session storage file uh, i need to fix a few things uh, i need to put uh, this function inside my fuse effect uh, otherwise it will give you an uh, a warning and after that i need to put uh, set user inside here and also uh, users inside here um, i was testing a few things out uh, that's why I forgot to, uh, and I removed this. Uh, so I forgot to put it back. Uh, so now that that is done, let's um, to our server side. So here, I wanna go on our, click on our SRC file. I'm gonna say new file. I'm gonna say session storage .js. Inside here, I want constant session equals New map. Now keep in mind we don't have a database, so we're gonna we're gonna have to store everything in memory itself, uh, which is a trade-off. But uh, if we if I decide to put a database inside here, we can we just we just have to come here and replace um, a few things. So I'm gonna say export function. Here I'm gonna say find session. I'm going to create uh, three functions. This one's going to be find function, find session. This is going to return session stop get with ID. Next is going to be from save session. This is ID and our session object itself. I want session dot and set well, sessions. I need to keep these sessions. It's session dot set and then I want ID and then I want set because the session object is set. Yep. And third, I want. Um, Find all sessions. And here we are not going to pass any parameters, and I want to return an array with inside. I want session dot values. I want to return all the values which are which we are stored inside our map function. Now, why I have used map function is because um, we're going to replace. Uh, if if we have already have a saved um, session session ID, uh, this is going to just going to replace our uh, session variable inside. So every time a session ID is there inside, I don't want to find find inside an array. If if we are using an array, we have to first find inside the array, find an array, and then I have to replace it. This if if we have multiple users inside, then this is going to take a lot of time. So map function is just uh, makes it easier. So now let's go inside our index.js. Let's import these three functions. I'm going to say import from session, um, how to say dot src, so session storage, dot js now don't forget to put dot dot js otherwise it's gonna give you an error uh, i'm gonna say save session then i'm gonna say find session i'm not gonna put find all function just now find all sessions just now now where do we put this first of all uh, we need to put this find my session inside here so i'm gonna remove this comment and I'm gonna say find session and I'm gonna pass in my session ID inside here. So this is what I was talking about in the last video. And where are we gonna put this save session? So here I want to uh, save the session on connection. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna put this function over here and I'm gonna pass in our socket dot session ID which we are creating uh, once we have logged in. 
this one, this one, and then we're gonna pass our session object inside. So here we're gonna have our uh, user ID socket dot user ID. Um, I'm gonna say uh, user name name socket dot user name. Then uh, if it's connected or not. I'm gonna straight up pass in true over here because um, it's, it's the first thing that is being called once you're connected. So it proves up it proves a point. And one more thing I need to write is socket dot join and pass in our socket dot user ID. This is going to be useful when we get all our connected users. So when we pass in, we're going to update this uh, in the next video or next few videos, perhaps. Uh, you'll understand why I have written this uh, when we update this uh, part. Yep, server is running. Now let's test, test this out. Here I'm going to type in my name. Now let's refresh this. Yep, see? We are now uh, having session inside our browser. So if I close this window, and then if I, if I go on the new window, see, we're still getting the same uh, username we logged in. If I change the browser, so now I have opened uh, Mozilla Firefox, was on in by John. See, uh, we are getting John. Let's refresh this, we're getting the same thing. If I open a different tab, See, we're getting the same username. 